I'm on an east facing slope on Ernest Miller Ridge behind Bacon Rind. And on Saturday, two skiers were in low angle terrain downhill of this slope and they triggered a collapse that caused a large avalanche. And what happened leading up to this is that we'd gotten about two feet of new snow equal to just about two inches of snow water equivalent, so a lot of weight on a weak snowpack. Now their intention was not to come up and ski steep terrain. They were gonna stay in the lower angle terrain down below and off to the side because they were getting large collapses or whoops that were rumbling out as they toured in here. So they knew the snowpack was unstable. They got down here, triggered a large collapse that propagated 500 vertical feet above them and then the avalanche broke 1,500 feet across the slope. Where we're standing here, the crown line's about two feet deep, the depth of the new snow, more or less, and it's failing on the same stuff we've been talking about all year, these weak, sugary facets near the ground. That layer is slow to stabilize, although it is getting a little bit better. When we were coming across, we weren't getting the same level of collapsing that our skiers got on Saturday. So going forward, just realize that this layer is going to be with us. It's one that we find hard to trust in steep terrain, so we're going to be giving it a little bit of time before we approach any avalanche terrain.